Chapter 990, Risking It All for Love, many people sighed while watching the scene play out. A few even had teary eyes. A female cultivator's front dress was completely drenched in tears as she murmured, so touching. If someone in this world was willing to die for me, I would definitely marry him. Lee Kai only smiled and shook his head in response to Kai Tani Wu's request. A man cannot break his promise. I said yes to her, so I have to take your life. Don't worry, after killing her, I will let you go. I promise, Li Kai, you are a bastard. Kai Tani Wu had to loudly cry out. Li Kai ignored a scream and asked the kneeling princess, Any last words? The princess took a deep breath and stared at Kai Tani Wu before speaking from her heart. Goodbye, you must live a fulfilling life from now on. Although she was very reluctant about many matters, she still turned her head and resolutely told Li Kai, Do it. She then closed her eyes, Don't. Kai Tani Wu couldn't bear to watch. He turned his head away, not willing to see the princess die to Li Kai's hands. The world became still in this passing moment. This second seemed like an eternity. No one was able to bear this slow torture. But after a while, nothing happened. Eventually, the princess opened her eyes and Kai Tani Wu turned his head back as well. They saw Li Kai still standing there with a leisurely smile. The princess firmly spoke, Do it. She was ready to die and didn't hold on to any hope. She only wanted Kai Tani Wu to live on. I am someone with a really bad habit. When others want me to do something, I wouldn't want to do it even more. With that, he smiled and casually waved his hand. Clank. The universal law that pinned Kai Tani Wu to the ground instantly flew back into his hand. Today, I will spare your life. I hope that you won't let down this girl who is so devoted to you. He stared at Kai Tani Wu who was lying on the ground and grinned before leaving. Both the princess and Kai Tani Wu along with the experts watching in the distance found this development hard to believe. No one expected Li Kai to spare the two of them like this. Oh right. Li Kai suddenly turned back and spoke while the two were still bewildered. In the future, stay far away from where I am. Provoke me again and I'll kill you too without showing any mercy. He coolly walked away afterward, leaving the two behind in a daze. After a long time, the princess calmed down and quickly helped Kai Tani Wu up. Let's get out of here. Kai Tani Wu didn't say anything and quietly let the princess prop him up. In an instant, the two of them disappeared into the horizon. The crowd watched their departure. From then on, no one in this world saw them again. The Half Moon Princess and Kai Tani Wu seemed to have disappeared without a trace, as if they no longer existed. Both the Half Moon tribe and the Pura Blood school were very tight lipped and never brought up their location. After killing the monarch's group, Li Kai acted as if nothing had happened and continued burying items on the peaks. In a few short days, he went from the Myriad Peaks to the Deca Myriad Peaks. Now, he was heading for the Million Peaks. After the big commotion, there were significantly fewer blood cultivators on the God War Mountain while the Blood Devil cultivators were nowhere to be found. Prior to this, the Bloods took more than half of the mountains, but after Li Kai killed so many ancestors from the tribe, the majority of the Blood Race retreated, and this went double for the Blood Devil tribe. At this moment, among the Blood Cultivators who stayed behind, both the young geniuses and the old ancestors and even God Monarchs took the long way around the moment they saw E.K., let alone trying to stop his path. Nevertheless, many were very curious about him. They saw him climb up one peak after another and found that even Million Peaks wasn't a challenge for him. He still leisurely walked up these high peaks as if he was not subject to the suppression of the mountain. The bizarre part was that these Million Peaks didn't give him any fortunes either. There were no discernible changes at the summit. Everyone knew that those who could climb to the top of these peaks were eligible to gain something. However, Li Kai had been to the top of many, yet there was not a single reaction. Anyone who saw this would be completely astonished. Is Li Kai really cursed then? Someone who was puzzled couldn't help but murmur after seeing the strange event. All the cultivators here found his situation to be quite incredible. They continued to watch him bury the items on these million peaks. Not a single one of his actions was overlooked. Someone nervously asked, Does he want to climb up the prime peak as well? Most were waiting for a miracle to happen. They wanted to watch Li Kai reach the prime peak with their own eyes. No way. A cultivator felt that a miracle like this wouldn't happen. For millions of years, no one has ever been able to climb the prime peak. Even the most brilliant genius would be able to do so, let alone Li Kai. Not long ago, Lin Tandy failed as well, and Li Kai is not necessarily stronger than him. So how could he make it up there? At this time, Li Kai finally took the first step towards the prime peak. People started palpitating after seeing this first step and became quite tense. No way. The next scene shocked everyone. Some couldn't help but scream from shock. They saw the impossible. Li Kai had entered the prime peak. Moreover, he was able to walk towards the summit as well. This, this can't be real. Someone gasped and didn't dare to believe their own eyes. Am, am I dreaming? They pinched themselves and felt the sharp pain, realizing that it was not a dream. Despite feeling incredulous, they knew that this was reality. An absent-minded spectator murmured, It's a miracle, a miracle of the ages. For countless years, no one has ever been able to climb the prime peak, but today, Li Kai has done it. How shocking. This is enough to shake the eons. Only a genius from our human race would be able to create a miracle like this. The human cultivators became quite proud and celebrated. What is this about Ji Kong Woody and Lin Tandy? They are nothing compared to the fiercest of our human race. The young humans were especially proud of this. Under the watchful gaze of the crowd, Li Kai continued his ascent. The spectators held their breaths and focused on watching his every move. However, right when he reached the halfway point of the mountain, his figure suddenly disappeared. He vanished as if he had evaporated from this world. What's going on? The attentive crowd was stunned. Many began to rub their eyes. Some opened their heavenly gaze to find traces of him. However, 
Despite their efforts, no one could find him. It seemed that he was no longer in this world. What happened? Someone was completely jolted. His successful climb was a miracle across all the eons. Many people were eager to watch him reach the summit. They wanted to know the legendary items at the top of this unclimbable peak. But now, he disappeared into thin air before he could reach the top, leaving many people unable to react in time. There was no precedent to this, so the crowd was completely lost. Someone murmured, perhaps the prime peak is different from the others. There are dangers here beyond our imagination. This type of sudden disappearance had never happened before at the other peaks on the God War Mountain. Thus, without a reference point, the crowd couldn't come up with an answer. HMPH, even immortal emperors wouldn't dare to climb the prime peak. Li Kai is only a junior. He is truly daydreaming if he thinks he can climb to the top of the prime peak. A blood expert saw his disappearance and sneered. He was happily gloating. In fact, many blood cultivators felt a sense of relief. Their blood race was feeling pressured when someone as fierce as Li Kai was in the barren earth.